So here's our finished rat with the plumbing. And you can see closely, maybe not, but right in the mouth is the outlet. Sorry about that, I can't get that so well. And then the outlet for the anus is there. Not sure if you can see that. Yep, it's coming in really clear. And the outlet for the ear, we're only doing one side. And that is difficult to see what is there. So what happens is the rat is going to lay like this on the table, sort of spread out. And maybe even laying like this so that you'll see the blood running out of the ear, the mouth, and the butt. So what we've done here is run this same wire through the foot, down the leg, under the body, coming out in the same point. We're going to run a copper wire through that and attach it to the foot so we can manipulate the foot up and back to give it the appearance of the rat jerking a foot. So you can't see the wire because it's copper, but it's ran through the body and then into the foot and it's right there that's the tip of the copper the copper came out here we couldn't get it to run into the leg structure without losing it we tried to feed it but it wouldn't feed so well and the copper wire comes out here now we super glued this in place so what happens we'll just do a light version you see how it kicks in and out like that and we'll be able to do that under the table and give it whatever movement we want. Okay, so here's a finished rat. And there's all the plumbing. And here is where it all exits the midsection. And so, for example, when it's laying in the tub, the wires on the table, you see the motion of the leg there? You'll be able to move it back and forth. It's hard to do now, but you can see. You catching that? Okay. So if you can imagine all this under the table, this on top of the table, and there lays the poor rat. And the vibration of, he just got through doing all his vibrating business, and then he just collapses, and he starts oozing blood from his orifices. And then there's this kick action. So that's it. Middle. So what we have to do here is make sure we use a larger syringe, larger volume, because the tubes are having air pockets. There we go. See it coming out the back. It came out the mouth. I've got the the one for the mouth and for the anus tied off. And this is the one for the ear. Pump it. There you go. It came out the ear pretty good there. So that's what we're going to have to do is get a larger syringe and be able to purge all of the air out of the lines. Right now we're running through water that's uh, been mixed with coffee just to give it a little bit of a hint of color. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that air, the ear to pump, pump out. There it comes, perfect, okay. So at least everything flows and the plumbing system works accurately.